In this video, we're going to be reading a story. Now, while I read the story, I'm going to be asking you some questions. So I would like you to think really hard about each question and you can say it out loud to the video or you can turn your, to your family member and tell them about the story. And once the story is finished and this video is off, you might want to have a conversation about some of the things that happened in the story or you might like to watch it again and answer the questions a second time. The book that I chose to read today is Maka the Alpaca by Matt Cosgrove. I chose this book because it's one of my favourite books to read. So the title is Maka the Alpaca by Matt Cosgrove. Now on the front cover here you can see Maka the Alpaca and he looks happy. You can't see much else on this front cover, but I'd like you to take a moment to have a bit of a think and say to your family member or just out loud what you think this book might be about. Are you ready to find out? Let's turn it over and read the blurb. So the blurb tells us what the story is about. Are you ready to listen? Maka is small, kind, and friendly. He spends his days splashing in puddles and chasing butterflies until he runs held head first into Hama, a big unkind llama who is never ever friendly. Can brave little Maka teach that bully of a llama a very important lesson? Hmm, I wonder. Now I'd like you to have a look at the two pictures you see here. So it says Maka is small, kind, and friendly alpaca. Which one do you think is the small, friendly, kind alpaca? Did you say the white one? You're right. So that means that Hama, a big, unkind llama, is this one here. Ready to start the book now? Maka the alpaca. This guy is called Maka. He's an alpaca. He loves splashing in puddles and gives the best cuddles. Do you like splashing in puddles and giving big cuddles? You go splashing in puddles at the moment with all the rain that's been outside. Maka's days were carefully free, filled with giggles and glee, until <gasps> drama, a llama. This guy is called Hama, not your average charmer. He's tall, strong and woolly, but he's also a bully. Is being a bully a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, isn't, isn't it? We shouldn't be a bully. So, Hama was mean, quite the worst you have seen. He took Maka's stuff and he played very rough. You pipsqueak, he said. I'm strong and you're weak. Now, I'd like you to take a moment to think about what you think happens next in the story. What do you think is going to happen now? You ready to find out? Let's have a look. Well, Maka said, no, you're wrong. I am surprisingly strong. So the pair made a bet and the challenge was set. I'll move this boulder, said Hama. And Hama moved that boulder with his shoulder. He huffed and he puffed and nudged until it finally budged. But when it was Maka's turn, 
he just used his brain. What do you think it means if he just used his brain? Have a look at the pictures here. It means that Maka was smart. Oh, Palmer doesn't look very happy. Hmm. Well, why don't you try and reach up this high? Well, that's easy done. Using this. So Maka was smart again and instead of reaching up high, he just got a ladder and climbed up the ladder to get the fruit. Palmer let out a hiss. Ooh, look at Harma in this picture. How do you think he's feeling? Is he happy? No. Do you think he looks angry? Yeah, I think he looks angry. Now, why is Harma feeling angry? Why do you think he's angry? Harma is angry because everything that he's doing, Mac is able to do too because Mac is being very smart. Should we read on and find out what happens next? Now, that llama was fuming. His nasty mind was zooming. Okay, well, let's have a race. Try and keep pace. First to the top is best full stop. Who do you think will win the race? So they took off in a flash and began their mad dash up the steep mountain slide. But then the rocks started to slide. Being nimble and light, Maka made it all right. So Maka was to the top first. But as he leapt to the summit, he saw Hama plummet. <gasps> so Maka's, um, Hama's falling. I wonder what will happen. Some might call it karma as that bully of a llama went crash, bang and splat. And that, my friends, was that. So Hama said, plainly shaken, turns out I was mistaken. Daken, for you've proved it quite clearly. Size doesn't matter, really. Maka went up to Hama and gave him a great big... What do you think Maka's going to give Hama? If he was friendly and kind and he was going up to the bully, what do you think he would do? He gave him a great big hug. That's a good choice, isn't it? Now I'd like you to spend a minute now to think about the story again and tell your family member or just say out loud what happened at the beginning of the story, so the start of the story, the middle of the story and the end of the story. And then I would like you to say what was your favourite part of the story and why. You can share that with us if you like. We'd love to see.